Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Wild day, uh, wild after hours, um, what, right? Uh, if you could be so kind, guys, click a like uh, on the video. It helps out the channel, support the channel, like the video, share, subscribe, uh, all that good stuff. And again, I'll try my best to uh, get you guys in the right position, right mind frame uh, going to the next day. Again, if you are uh, interested in pivots, again, click the link below. 30 days is all you need uh, to figure out if pivots are a right fit for you. So a lot of stuff going on. Uh, yesterday, you had Google have an incredible quarter, had a big run up, and Google about faded about $13, you know, $10 off its highs. But again, excellent quarter. Robin, uh, our, our Reddit yesterday was up about 20% uh, in the after hours today, just went absolutely out of its mind, right? Went crazy, absolutely crazy today. Again, it really does show you how the market continues to support growth stories. The bigger the growth story, the higher probability that you don't need to have a perfect quarter, just more upside, right? More stake in the game, more bigger bites for institutional money flow down the line. And Reddit was really, really rewarded today. SMCI, you guys remember all those call buyers that came in for the last two weeks, right? All those call buyers, you know, they were coming for the 53s, the 54s, the 55s. Yeah, that's great. And you also had Hindenburg Research. Again, big shout out to Hindenburg Research. Uh, they had their hit piece right over here, guys, on August the 26th. Talked about the, some accounting irregularity. Like a lot of people, I did the same thing. Yeah, whatever, bro, right? Because again, whatever, whatever. And it turned out to be true. This morning, you had their lead auditor resign. That's kind of a big deal, right? It's kind of a big deal. Uh, SMCI got absolutely murdered today. Uh, absolutely murdered, down like 33%. I'm probably the only schmuck on the planet uh, who lost money uh, shorting SMCI today. Okay. Uh, I shorted it at the, at the afternoon lows. It only went down 10 cents, squeezed me back a buck. It's okay. It's okay. It's not, it's not the worst thing in the world. But the point is, this is one of those very sensitive, uh, sensitive markets that, again, people don't want to hear about accounting irregularities. They don't want to hear about uh, your lead auditor resigning. I mean, can you imagine if their CEO or CFO steps down? We saw a lot of short-term uh, $30 puts, $26 puts, $25 puts. I, I'm going to watch it again for tomorrow. But again, I'm probably the only schmuck who shorted this thing on the afternoon lows uh, and wanted to lose the money on it. You know, it's part of the, it's part of the game. Uh, the big stories uh, continue to be uh, the mega cap uh mega cap earnings, right? Yesterday, uh, we saw uh, AMD got murdered. Uh, Google did very well for most of the day, uh, came back in. And today, we, we had the two big names uh, were coming in were Microsoft and uh, Meta. Now, let me give you guys a little bit of context before we talk about both. Microsoft, for the whole day, we saw 450s and 452 and a half calls weeklies all day, literally all day. Uh, Microsoft came out with earnings, and here they are. Uh, Microsoft beats on the top, the bottom line. Their cloud business uh, did very, very well. They keep on using the word AI. Again, that's a monster, monster thingy-majiggy when you're doing a PR. Uh, their conference call starts at 530. Uh, as of right now, Microsoft is up. Roughly about three, four bucks. At one point, it was up about 10. Let's see what happens after the conference call. Uh, it's going to have a big number here coming up here. You see these September highs, right? If Microsoft starts building above the September highs of 442, this is the number you really have to watch. And also, you have to watch the after hours highs, right? If it starts confirming, and you can see here on the five minute view, if it starts confirming the after hours highs, just the same way Google gave us a pretty good trade yesterday on the after hours highs, it could really start spiking. But let's see what happens on Microsoft uh, after the conference call. Uh, Meta, 
right? Meta had a really incredible quarter. Uh, everything they said was pretty good. Uh, Meta revenue beat. Uh, See, so they beat on the top line. They beat on the bottom line. Uh, their average daily users were were top 3.29 billion users. That's a lot, right? They're still benefiting uh, from the same thing that uh, Google was benefiting from, the ad clicks, right? That's obviously a big deal. Meta right now is down about 10 bucks. Their conference call uh, starts about uh, 5 p.m., right? It's 5 p.m. But the craziest part about the Meta initial move, it went down 40 points and bounced right away. So it's down about 10 bucks from the close. Uh, in case the conference call is good, again, uh, obviously, I don't know. Right now, it's around roughly around a quarter to five Eastern time. You know, in case it's good and Meta starts uh, uh, ripping, I want to watch uh, the October highs because if it could get above the, the October highs, maybe Meta wakes up. But as of right now, uh, they're down about uh, 10 bucks. Robinhood had a big, big run, right? Really, really big run uh, in the last uh, several months since August lows of 13. Uh, Traded today to 2850s. Unfortunately, their business, and you'd think, you know, the trading business is still very, very, um, uh, very, very good. But, you know, again, not that much enthusiasm into their quarter. They missed both on the top and bottom lines. Currently, shares are down uh, three bucks. The big winner, though, after the close was Carvana, right? Carvana had a pretty insane quarter. Uh, not only did they beat the top uh, and the bottom line, uh, the most important part is they're the kind of the leader in the space, okay? And the most important part is their EBITDA keeps on growing. Their operating income uh, keeps on growing. So year over year, all the units are are doing very, very well. So this is a heavily shorted stock. It's up about 27% after the close. So big kudos to uh, Carvana. So the question kind of like what we talked about yesterday going into today's session was, well, was the market going to get pulled up by Google's earnings last night or was AMD going to drag everything down? We got our answer, right? Uh, if you look at the final tallies, uh, NASDAQ down about 100 points and obviously SMCI was a big dent on the semiconductors, but you had NVIDIA, right? You had NVIDIA down a couple of bucks not quite to the 20-day moving average. I want to see if there's an actual bounce uh, off the 20-day moving average tomorrow. Uh, speaking of tomorrow, you have Amazon coming out with earnings tomorrow. Uh, also, Apple. Uh, we are seeing a lot of $200 weeklies uh, coming in on Amazon. We're seeing a lot of calls coming in on Apple as well. Again, when you have a good, aggressive market, you're going to see a lot of speculation call buying uh, coming into those names. So that's not really uh, That's not really surprising. I want to watch Tesla, right? Like I said uh, yesterday, I think by Thursday, or I, I said by Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I thought Tesla was going to wake up again. Tesla today successfully tested the five-day moving average, right? And started the bounce. The only problem is Tesla for the last three days, and again, you can see the, the volume really, really shrinking to the, to the downside, which is a very good thing. I just want to see Tesla get back above one or two days ranges if Tesla could just get back above one or two days ranges, I think it'll start following back to the earnings highs. We saw a lot of uh, call buying today in the 270 weeklies, the 260, 265 weeklies on weakness. So if this light volume gets absorbed and Tesla starts, starts kind of shaking off the cobwebs, we could see a snap back in the next day or two. That's kind of what I'm watching. Some other names that look uh, very, very good or at least very interesting uh, going into uh, tomorrow's day, let me give you guys some symbols, and then I gotta, you know, I, then I then I have to kind of uh, kind of get situated to see. I want to see if, if Microsoft and and Meta start uh, doing their thing. Um, look at um, look at Reddit, right? Look at Reddit, massive move today. Uh, obviously, any any weakness, right? Any weakness tomorrow into the sixty minute support. You see the sixty minute support, guys. This green line uh, keeps on bouncing. Any, any move into the 60-minute support uh, is a good area to bounce it. Obviously, if it starts getting above uh, today's channel, it can wake up as well. Look at this other stock, VTRS. I really don't know a lot about it, but look at this look at this flag here, right? You have this big, big move up sideways, actually, for the last two and a half, three weeks. If VTRS can get just back above this channel here, maybe this thing could wake up. Again, I really don't know uh, too much about it, but you know, nice-looking chart. 
Roblox. I believe Roblox reports uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, the reason why it's an interesting looking chart, because today it got rejected off the 50-day moving average. If Roblox gets back above the 50-day moving average and their earnings are received, uh, well, let's keep an eye on this thing, right? Let's definitely, definitely keep an eye on this thing uh, for a potential move up. Again, assuming uh, the earnings are okay. As much as I am probably the only human being who lost money on SMCI today, uh, to the downside, I am going to watch it again tomorrow, okay? Because if it does lose today's channel, right? If it does lose today's channel, uh, there should be another day of some. We'll see. You know, we'll see about this. So the point is, folks, always be prepared on both sides. Always have an exit plan. Don't guess. Don't anticipate. The market right now is really aggressive. Uh, we have the election coming up on uh, November the 5th. That's one in, what, five, six days, Right. So at least I know when exactly the, pre the new president will be voted on, right? And the most important part is, guys, treat every single day like its own individual merits. Tomorrow, we got Amazon, we got Apple. I'm still waiting for the conference calls to start on Mena and Microsoft. Let's see if one of them sparks up, right? Let's see if one of them sparks up and starts taking out the daily channels. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. Tomorrow is Thursday, my regular night off. So hopefully you guys are doing well. And with God's help, I will see you all in the field tomorrow. Take care. Have a good night.